Hello, I'm Satoshi Yamamoto. Welcome back to my time bench. Um, today, uh, I'd like to do another um, uh, introduction discussion of uh, uh, about a material uh, used for Atlantic salmon flies. So, um, so we don't need a, a, a vice today. It's going to retire. Instead, we need this one. Uh, cross pin and then uh, this is a vice and then uh, feather we are talking about is uh, Indian crow well actually I don't have a luxury to own one <laughs> to collect one but uh, this is an imitation given to me um, um, uh, by my teacher then um, uh, real Indian crow has kind of kind of dipped um, kind of dipped around here then also dipped around here and then tip is kind of bent yeah this one actually shows some but uh, it, tip is you know bent down like this then uh, so um, so what I what I want what I want to introduce today is uh, how to make um, uh, how to make your you know imitation feather uh, um, uh, look like a um, uh, real one and then that, that little device um, so we call it the crimper um, by the way uh, might as I'd like to introduce uh, besides this this is uh, this is from uh, coot bleached and the dyed coot feather and also this one also given to me from my teacher this is the uh, uh, it's called a red bishop, kind of African um, 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 bard, I think. So, with that in mind, and the two, I think a recently most common um, um, uh, feather is from a uh, ring neck, ring neck pheasant, neck patch of a ring neck pheasant. And then um, you can buy, in my case, this is a kind of really common one from a uh, uh, hairline, you know, already dyed like this. And then uh, I got a whole patch here, you know, and then this is just one of them. And then, um, so, uh, first, let, let, let's go back to the crimper. Okay, this is a regular cross pin that you can find anywhere. And then, see uh, what I've done here. You might want to... Um, um, you might want to um, stop and then, you know, I'll watch again. See, uh, this part, you know, bottom part, this uh, bottom part is, this this part is kind of dipped here. I uh, trimmed it here with a rotary tool, ge really gently. Then, and above, this uh, wood uh, is not, you know, has not been done, you know, treated, treated anything, but um, instead I attach just a piece of form here. Um, yeah, just a regular form from, you know, that we use for, you know, a form, you know, form fly, like form hopper or whatever. This just happens to be um, a combination of pink and blue, but that this should show you, you know, exactly. And then uh, this is gonna meet here. And then, uh, okay. So again, this is a ring around one. So see what I've done here. So you might wanna, uh, you know, stop, and then you know, there we go. So, okay. So here's that uh, uh, Indian crow uh, imitation here. Um, you can find m much more realistic, um, realistic, uh, you know. Uh, uh, fe ring neck pheasant, you know, imitation, uh, imitation made uh, of uh, ring neck pheasant patch, neck patch, and then, so, uh, I'm gonna gently moist here, not quite, you know, wet, uh, uh, in, in my, in my mouth, you know, with saliva, but just kind of a bit moist. Then, like that, I want the tip around here here we go and then okay let's, you gotta keep 
so when it's dried it will look like this see this is a yellow just a dyed yellow the same oh here you go see kind of little dipped here you can a uh, little dipped here but then the tip is you know bent down and then here's another example with the yellow Again, same as uh, neck feather from uh, ring neck pheasant. And then, up uh, those coot and then uh, red bishop imitation that I showed you, um, I do the same. And then, um, apparently I have, uh, I said this one before uh, video, video starts, so it should be ready by now. Let's go look. There you go. When it's kind of totally dried, it's gonna kind of fork. Uh, you know, each fiber is gonna kind of uh, fluff out. You know, gonna go away from each other, like this one, this yellow one. So, and I actually have another one. So, I have a total of three um, <laughs> crimper. I made it. It's not. Um, it's all about uh, trials and error, so let's see. Here we go. I'd like to say not too bad. See, around here is kind of dipped here. It's not round anymore, at least. Then here's a distinctive, you know, bend, you know, down, you know, crimp. <laughs> so. So this is the uh, Indian crow imitation and then uh, crimpa. So uh, again, probably uh, if you really want to make this by yourself, you know, but you want to go back and then the uh, uh, pause, uh, you know, uh, and see the, uh, what I've done uh, uh, for the angle and then the attachment of form. So, well, thank you for watching.